Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 61 in my Sudoku problem series. This is an anti-night killer problem that was sent through by Frappi, and thank you very much for sending this one through. Um, so with this one, the important things to remember is that um, digits that are a knight's move apart, so uh, two uh, cells in one direction and one in another, um, cannot contain the cell same digit, um, even if they don't see each other by normal Sudoku rules. Um, and there's also a killer cage, and digits in the cage must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Now it's important to remember we own you can only place the digits in cells marked with an X. So even if you can figure out other digits, if you place those other digits, the solution checker will not work. Um, this is a tool that is designed to solve entire Sudokus and I'm kind of fudging it to work with the Sudoku problems. So um, if you place any other digits, it will not recognize the solution. So um, hopefully you can figure this one out. This is fairly easy, just designed to wrap your head around some um, uh, anti-night killer stuff. So link below, I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so the reason it's important to call out the fact that, yeah, don't place the digits where there's no X's, is this three cage is immediately resolvable because you can only play, the only way to make up three is with a one, two, and this two immediately resolves it. I can't put a two there, so I can't put a one here. This is a one, two. Um, if I put those in there, however, they're not part of the solution, so that will immediately cause the solution checker to fail. Um, it's just a limitation of the tool. There's nothing I can do about that. So now what we want to think about is where can two go in box five? Because this two sees those cells and that cell. This two sees those cells and that cell. Um, this cell by night's move, it's two in this direction, run down. This cell sees this one. And because those two see all of those, this must be a two. And once the two is placed, the ones are limited. This one sees those by Sudoku, that by Knight's move, and that's by Knight's move, and that one sees both of those by Knight's move. That is a two, so this has to be a one. And you can place those digits fairly quickly. Fairly simple use of Knight's move, but it does demonstrate an important trick with this one, I feel, which is the fact that a, um, any cell on a border of, of like this will see all of the, the central cross. Um, I think that's an important um, anti-Knight trick. So hopefully you were able to figure that one out without too much problems. I'm sure I'm going to get comments saying I put in these digits and the solution check didn't work. There's nothing I can do about that. Sven has coded this as a tool to solve entire Sudokus, and I'm doing a workaround to make this work for the Sudoku problems. Um, there's, yeah, it's just the way it is. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.